Hey there YouTubers, just got done setting up my Aeris Z690i Ultra Light D5 motherboard. Now obviously it's not in a case right now. My goal was to get this up and running, get it to BIOS, get the operating system working with it. We accomplished all those goals. But I'll tell you what, it was not without some headaches. These little compact units definitely... Um, you know, there's some things here that make it a little more difficult. Now, I got to this point. I wanted to pass on uh, some of those things to you. So if you're thinking about buying this or you are getting ready to set it up, maybe this might help you. We're going to focus on really, um, I guess, three or four things on here that... Uh, had the instructions either been better or had I have really looked at the instructions, I may have, you know, not had these issues. All right, so Z690, uh, actually any 12th gen motherboard that I have seen, folks, supports any 12th gen CPU, okay? So that means this will support a Celeron, this will support the i9-12900KS, right? Obviously, as you get to those better CPUs, um, and some of them being unlocked, you'll need to purchase a CPU cooler. Well, let's say you were looking at this with a, a Celeron uh, i3-12100, i5-12400, i7-12700, and you've got a stock cooler, and you're hoping the stock cooler will work. Well, I'll tell you what. Unless I did something wrong, folks, I could not get this to fit. Uh, we had interference with this face and over on the left side here where you've got this massive heat sink for your M.2s in there. Plus a lot of connectors are in there. Um, of course, I've got this plugged in, so maybe it's better to move the camera. So that was a problem. We then tried, um, and you know, on the channel, I don't do a lot of ITX stuff, right? So I'm not really set up for those type CPU coolers. And the fact we're in 12th gen, uh, how many of those are really compatible that I would have had in the past? Maybe not as many, you know, as you would hope. But we tried a couple different Noctuas, one of which was an NHU-12S. Similar style to this, right? It is a uh, single tower, single 120 millimeter fan. How many people are going to actually use something like that in a uh, mini ITX build, right? Uh, not very many, but yours truly would try and make that work if he could, especially if he was putting the um, unlocked CPU in here, right? So eventually, I, on my fourth try, went with the VTrue V5. Now, you may have seen this on here. This is actually one of our most popular videos. Um, and I did actually get this uh, for free from the uh, the vendor. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of grateful that they, they gave it to me as it did do quite well. Uh, funny thing is, it ended up eventually on Gamers Nexus and some other big channels like a year after I originally, um, you know, put my video up. But uh, that's another story. So, lo and behold, this CPU cooler does work. Now... I didn't plug in the uh, ARGB, if I can even figure out where it is on the motherboard. Uh, we'll figure that out for the manual eventually, but we obviously have this fired up. It is in uh, Windows at the moment. So that was one of the things, folks. Expect your CPU cooler uh, that you may, you may have to really do some research on what will work. Now, obviously, this is, this is working for me. But if I was to put this in a case, it might not. I believe, you know, you're going to need one of those CPU coolers that has the mount, uh, makes the connection down to the CPU, and then the CPU fan is sitting up higher, and it's actually uh, blowing up away from the CPU, right? That's probably the ideal type. There's not two is out there that do that, and quite a few other brands. I don't personally have any of those, so... Um, just, you know, keep that in mind, folks, that you will have to deal with that. Let's move over to uh, RAM. Um, I tell you, folks, I have never had more difficulty getting uh, RAM to, to click in than I did here with this one. 
Uh, no issue with the other motherboard that this was, was pulled out of that was working. Um, just, you know, obviously be careful when you're putting your RAM in. This should be just like DDR4. Well, one side's longer than the other, right? And the thing I always remember is pretty much the text and all that other crap is on the other side facing the fan um, or facing the CPU cooler. Um, just to you remember that. And if you're not hearing double clicks, folks, um, take it back out. Try it again. Make sure you're not uh, damaging the RAM. Next. So... I'm not going to pull it all out. Uh, if you look at my unboxing video, I actually install the M.2s, both M.2s. So this holds two M.2s. I had some, uh, I had a bit of a headache there. Um, where were the problems? Well, easy enough to take off this heat sink right here, right? You've got a screw here, a screw here, and then underneath here is another screw right in this exact spot. You get that off, uh, then you're like, hey, how do I get to my second M.2? Well, there's another screw to take out, right? But the thing is, they also hide your HD audio in here, all right? So this is the other thing. If you want to make your HD audio connection, make sure you pull this out of the little cavity that it's, it's hidden in that's under here. You'll see this cable once you take the heat sink out. But... Um, it's not just so obvious it's there. And I don't even know if it's in the directions. I didn't find it. I just was like, what is this thing doing in my way? And lo and behold, folks, there's your HD audio. You can even see it on there. Now, is this going to get in the way of my graphics card, right? That's another question. If you're going with a massive graphics card, um, man, I don't, I don't know if we're going to have problems there with this thing or not. You may have to bend this back this way. Uh, which is kind of, you know, bringing in a cable that's going to be kind of, uh, just kind of look nasty. And if you go in, this is the uh, the GTX 1630. You don't see too many of these on, on YouTube. Not too many people are dumb enough to buy it. Um, we've got this computer going right now, so I don't want to snap that in. But if I move this over, you can see... Your HD audio cable is going to have to, to sit like that, okay? So you see it right there. I don't think there's another way really to get that to work. Um, the cable is not long enough. Now, did they potentially give us an extension cable is another question. Alright, so just for those that won't really look at the manual. Here we go. I didn't see this originally. There's... Your HD audio popping out of there, right? There is a section in here about HD audio 19. They do not provide an extension cable though, all right? So you get a lot of cables in this thing, and then I don't know that it says it in here. So, move it out of its default location. Uh, it's default stuck in the cavity, I guess it is. So, in a way, it does, I guess, tell you this. Move, you know, if you follow along, uh, and you can understand what they're saying here, which that could be written a little better. Um, that is, you know, you've got to move that cable. So, now, if you don't need the HD audio, uh, you know, probably... Stick it back in there, right? Um, probably would be all right in this spot. So once you get this out of the way, folks, then you can pull out this, uh, the BTB, as it says, which will be under this big heat sink. That will disconnect in two places. There's two connectors on this. You pop, you basically pop it up um, here and then there and pull that out. And underneath that is where the second M.2 is. Um, so I actually at the moment have two M.2s installed on this. 
and maybe I'll do a separate video at some point. But those are really the things that, that you know, were kind of a headache with this installation. Finding a CPU cooler here that would actually work. I know it is ITX, and those are things you should expect, but I thought a stock cooler would at least work. And no, it does not. And like I said, the uh, HD audio, RAM, and then getting the, the BTB board out so you can get to your second M.2. Other than that, pretty sleek little M.2, or excuse me, sleek little motherboard. I think I'm going to enjoy this as I do most of my 12th uh, gen motherboards. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.